In the modern day, dealing with hate online is kind of like the bread and butter of being a content creator. It, it comes along with the job. And with the 4.9 billion people who use the internet, it's kind of unavoidable to run into someone who has a different opinion than yours or someone who has a different thought process than yours. Well, how do you think you would respond to something like that? Would you, I don't know, ignore it? Would you respond of a constructed conversation? Would you, I don't know, maybe just like agree and move on or would you dox them and <laughs> and try and ruin their life dude i ran into a tiktoker on uh twitter today and i it made me go into a little bit of a deep dive i wanted to look into where these content creators come from because it's now apparently a bit of a small trend with some tiktokers to completely dox someone who's been hate commenting them for a long time and i decided to look into it it's more than just this woman i, I saw this woman named rexorcist rx zero cyst <laughs> and uh she went viral on tiktok a little bit for posting videos essentially just completely doxing people who posted hate comments on her videos now it sucks because the things that she teaches and the things that she pushes are actually pretty good things i mean it's just like support for people who need it and support for marginalized groups like that that's good stuff we want that kind of support but then the problem is we get into <laughs> the territory where she comes across a hate comment and doxes the dude so bad multiple times here's a video that i came across on tiktok that got me into it and if there is any doxing parts i'll probably just mute it or bleep it out but i'll play the video for you guys right now share this if you are sick of this boo you dumb piece of shit i let your dumb ass go on for two fucking days while i received thousands thousands of troll comments and death threats thousands and while this certainly isn't anything new to me, the efforts you, sir, have gone through to silence me for holding a misogynistic piece of shit accountable, huge red flag, my guy, the first of many. Initially, I just wanted to get some more information about you, seeing as how you've been obsessed with me since April. But then I saw you liking tons of unalive comments in your comment section. So naturally, I said, fuck that, you're about to lose your job, sir. Hi, Brian, firefighter paramedic. Literal doxing. <laughs> Can't forget Unified Fire Authority paramedic. I figured I'd just let them know what their employee is up to on the old ticky talky and be done with it, right? Wrong. You see, because once you realized that you don't scare me and several larger creators called you on your bullshit, you immediately weaponized your dead wife. Red flag. And something in my gut told me that the whole dead wife, single dad vibe was a fucking lie. And of course I can't just say that without looking like a fucking asshole. But luckily I found proof because you're a dumb piece of shit. And just in case y'all are unfamiliar, let me show you what this dude tried to pull. He's got a whole ass video pinned to the top of his profile of his dead wife. And in the comments, he says, here's proof that women do date down. Sorry to get mushy on ya. Still occasionally have bad days. It's been two and a half years. She died from an undiagnosed heart condition while she was at work. We were together for 10 years and our son was four at the time. All of this, the way it's typed, what you chose to share, huge red flag. In this video right here where you claim to be a good single father, any parent would recognize that the mannerisms and the body language here, that is not your baby. Especially when your mama tags you as Uncle Brian. Same shirt, same onesie, same mittens. Yikes. And your mom announcing the baby's birth saying Michelle had to have a c-section? Wasn't your dead wife's name Helena? That's weird. And didn't you say y'all had been together for 10 years when she died two and a half years ago? So why the fuck is Charlotte Painter Carlson in your graduation ceremony photo in 2015? By the way, they're not still married. Thank God. So anyways, bestie, I let your ex-wife know. I let your stepdaddy know. I let your mama know. And the mother of the child you're lying and saying is your son. Like, oh my God, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> what? Dude. I don't know, it feels so wrong to just jump to doxing. I, I get that the person that they were doing it to was bad. And like, the, the fake wife stuff and all that, yes, he should be called out for that. But that should be done privately. <laughs> I feel like she should go to him and be like, hey, I'm aware of this and if things don't get better, blah blah blah. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think that immediately throwing it out to your thousands of followers, in fact, I think I have her account up. She has... 1.3 million followers she has 1.3 million followers that she's just completely blasting dudes addresses and locations and life stories to to be honest i understand wanting to punish people who do bad things i myself used to be a bit of an edgy kid online back when i was in my xbox days and i was uh, like a middle schooler and if i were to have been doxed 
for for some of the stuff that I had said. I mean, one, it would scare the life out of me. But two, I don't think it would make me aim to be better. Like, this isn't like Ebenezer Scrooge getting visited by the three ghosts the night before Christmas. I have whole other videos of her doxing people. I kind of want to skip through this and see if there's anything of, of note. Because I'm pretty sure he, he she just follows him, gets his license plate, <laughs> his type of truck, finds out who he follows, finds his wife, goes through his video game history. It's crazy. The things that he finds. It's like, bro, it's so unnecessary to deal with that. If I dealt with hate comments that way, I swear I'd be in prison already. And it, it, I did a little digging, right? I was like, okay, let me find what this is all about. And, I, and so I looked up her name on Twitter and I was scrolling through all the hashtags and everything. This isn't just her. There is a group of TikTokers of all different demographics that all dox people just all the time. And one of them is Tizzy, which is so sad because I thought he was kind of based. This guy right here, look at him. He's like a nice little Santa Claus old man. Apparently he just like straight up dropped someone's address on TikTok to also, I mean, probably around a near million subscribers or followers. Sorry, this isn't YouTube. It'd be so much more convenient if you had a good way to call people out and get them in trouble online without bringing it into the real world and dropping their address and exposing them for everything that they... <laughs> have because like yes bad people should be called out and i don't think that good people should be compromising their own morales for the sake of what they think could be a good thing because doxing is dangerous it is really dangerous there are people who could get hurt the, the, like i don't think that the average viewer who's watching these videos can really do much to help the situation aside from not support it i mean i don't think you can leave a hate comment because i don't think you want your own address being compromised <laughs> but uh it, like, the best thing to do is just do not support this type of content. If you see it, scroll past it. Maybe Mark is not interested. It, you can't, it, it's just not a good thing to have this going around on the internet and becoming a growing trend, too. Now, I understand if you, it's in your neighborhood. If you're in your own neighborhood and there's a bad actor and you dox him to the rest of your neighborhood, that makes sense. And that's a thing that would have used to happen. But these people who used to, would, would have done that have gone to the internet and are like, okay, well, let's, <laughs> let's ruin someone's life because they said something mean to me online and th to be honest i agree the things that they, they're doing and the hate that they're spreading the, the people that she's doxing are bad people i've said that like three times this video but I, it's because i'm tired and i have work soon <laughs> but it does not justify the long lasting effects that doxing someone's gonna do tiktok's algorithm doesn't exactly send a video out like youtube doesn't send a video out and have it popular for the first week of its upload if you send a tiktok out it blows up in the first day and then it will blow up again three four months from now again a year from now once that tiktok is out with that dude's information it's gonna blow up like eight more times in the future his house is compromised <laughs> and you know crazy ass tiktokers since there are literally like i think 300 like million users in like the our hemisphere <laughs> and there's gonna be a crazy person who sends a weapon or something to someone's house but yeah she's still posting to this day she's still gonna be posting and uh i don't think she's doxed someone in a hot minute i think most of it is just like her t nope never mind there's a dox right at the front of her profile i assume if that's a facebook profile <laughs> okay with 400,000 views. That's a lot of views to put on someone else's life. <laughs> like, that's really dangerous. I don't think people consider the implications of doxing someone. I think they do it just to scare fear into someone and show them, show, like, someone what they can do. Like, hey, I could do this. Boo, I'm scary, big boogeyman. But I don't think they realize the implications of the fact that, like, okay, well, now their address is public to, after saying very hateful things, so they're going to get flack for that. And they could get flack in the form of, you know, I don't know, a bomb. I'm joking. Although the chances are still slim. It's just not, I don't know. I'm not going to say it's not right again. I'm not going to sit and lecture the same thing over and over again for a whole video. Even though I just did that and uh, you liked it and subscribed. <laughs> um, yeah, this is what, day 39 of me doing daily videos. And I want to do something on this because I saw it like a few days ago. And I didn't think it was worth making a whole video until I saw more of it. And I went down a rabbit hole. And I, I don't know, I want to talk about it. This isn't really news, it's more just something I wanted to discuss because I like being able to discuss stuff like this and I want to look for more. If you guys find any other content you guys want me to check out, let me know. I'd really like to see it because I want more things to talk about. I There's no current events happening like within the Twitch space, so there isn't much to talk about that in that regard. But as of right now, we're just chilling. I, I'd love to see you guys in future videos like this don't forget to comment if you have any thoughts on this because i know there probably are some thoughts you guys have on this and uh, i will see you in the next 
video. And as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night, and uh, don't dox people, you freak. <laughs>